Hey, welcome back to Bright Arrays. We're looking at uh, 1 John, chapter 1, 5 through 10. We're talking about the truth about sin. Today we're going to focus on verses 7 and 9. We're going to talk about the fact that we can walk in the light. That's what John says, if we walk in the light as he is in the light. So since God is light and we want to walk with him, then the path we walk must be illuminated by him. If our path is lit up by God, then we have fellowship with him. This means that we are justified, regenerated, saved. We are following God. It doesn't mean we're perfect, but it means we're saved. Because we walk this path of life with God, who is light, the blood of Jesus cleanses us from all sin. This is the gospel message. We are in darkness without fellowship with God. The blood of Jesus cleanses us, and now we walk in the light and have fellowship with God. We will choose the darkness sometimes, but the blood of Jesus will cleanse us from all that darkness. Not just from some sin, but all sin. This is why we are to confess. First, because we're commanded to. You know, it's obligatory. It's not optional. Proverbs 28, 13 says that whoever conceals his transgression will not prosper, but he who confesses and forsakes them will obtain mercy. Charles Spurgeon reminds us that only on the footing of sin daily confessed and pardoned can there be a fellowship between us and God this side of heaven. So if we're walking in the light, then we will confess our sin. That's what we do. These two are inseparable. Walking the path of life means that you engage in confession. It should be a joy to confess our sin because he is faithful and just to forgive our sin. He is faithful and will never hold a confessed sin against you. He is just in doing so because Jesus paid the penalty for your sin. He has satisfied the law's demands. So God forgives us our sins and cleanses us from all righteousness. This means that there is no purgatory where you'll have to pay for some of your unrighteousness. Jesus' blood does that for you. This means that at the end, when you appear before the throne as a Christian and the books are opened, not one sin will be recorded to your name. It's blotted out. It's gone. As far as the east is from the west, so far as he removed our transgressions from us. That's the truth. That's what we're told. That's what we need to believe. And so come back next time and we'll look at the conclusion of our study for this week.